Sandy. Where is your husband? Mm. I wish I knew. Paying some tarts bills when he should be paying for his children. Mm. It's a very nice dress, Marquetta. Oh. Did you get it on your travels? Mm -hmm. You're an air hostess, aren't you? Yeah, flight attendant. And you? I have my own beauty studio in the high street. Oh. Hair, tanning, facials, manicures. But too busy to be using facilities yourself. Ladies, please. The boys need to get psyched. I'm losing it, Mr. Parker. Don't think I can handle the solo. Well, if it's causing you grief, kid, drop it. No, he'll be fine, won't you, Eddie? No. You'll slay him, dude. Just think of Jack's cousins watching you in awe. Think of the possibilities after. <laughs> right. On, Parents, everybody out. Let me tell you a story, Eddie. In 1967, or was it 68? Jimi Hendrix played his first gig in the UK at the Bag of Nails. All the rock glitterati were there, including Clapton, and Hendrix was discolouring his trousers with stage fright. But he went out there and made history. Who's Jimi Hendrix? Jimi Hendrix was a little Greek man who had no idea about how great he was with the electric guitar. And you actually look a bit like him, Eddie, does he not? Now I want you to go out and play like your life depended on it. Summon up all those Greek gods, make them proud, Eddie. And lash that guitar to a pump. Yes? Okay. <gasps> yes! 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 yes. 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 Rock and roll! Come on. <clears throat> Evening, everyone. When I was a kid, my dad wanted me to be a footballer. Do you remember, Dad? Would have been a lot more lucrative than to retire at 35. <laughs> Can't argue with him. As usual. Anyway, I'm sure he's going to like his grandson's music much more than he liked his son's, eh? So, ladies and gentlemen, mum and dad, for one night only, the Jack Parker Band. How was I to know he'd fallen asleep? He looked well dead to me. In your dreams, lad. So your dad just nodded off then? That's all, Carmen. Daft thing, really. He must have really sucked. Oh, don't take it personally, Eddie. You guys were great. Oh, that's happened before, apparently. Slept through his own wedding, according to my mum. Would have been well bad if he killed your dad at his own party. With the power of our music and everything. 
Yeah, it really spoiled the evening for us thinking your dad was unwell. That's very good of you guys. We think he's cool. My lords, ladies, and gents, I give you... The Jack Parker Band. Granville's group. Whatever. We came, we saw, and we rocked. I edited out George's narcoleptic episode and so forth. Good call, but this is a good bit. <laughs> I thought you said your evening was ruined. <laughs> Trentham's got talent. Oh yeah, we're down for that. I'll make dinner for you on Saturday. There'll be dessert. Well, you know, like sugar babes, with the jelly babes. We don't know what they sound like. Doesn't matter what they sound like. This is now a battle of the bands, isn't it? We're management. Oh, your management. That you can't remember the name of your band. <laughs> when you go out there tonight, you're not just four kids in some barn, huh? Oh, no. You guys are rock and roll commandos. On a mission. The winner of Trentnam's Got Talent is... When I think of the times we had Merton takes a nostalgic look at some of the best remembered comedy sketches of Morecambe and Wise next on BBC One, while BBC Four brings back the memories with archive performances from some of the greatest names in prog rock.